I got a feeling for you I could easily wake up to The summer swims through your eyes No plans, just improvise We are now sitting at Center Coffee. This is a coffee shop in the Seoul Station. So apparently there's like a latte outlets and a latte mart here as well. We got here a little bit early just uh, to make sure we can grab a cup of coffee and potentially food, but this coffee spot doesn't actually serve food options. So we're gonna just like chug these and we still have about an hour and a half before our train down to Busan. So as we're sitting here sipping on our coffee, um, we're talking about how this is much more comfortable than if we were heading heading to the airport, we were being stressed about where to go, which terminal, checking in, so security. Um, so this is, I think, even though it was more expensive, uh, definitely if you have the opportunity, it's probably less stressful than at the airport. So it is a big price difference. We paid uh, about 60k per ticket one way. Going and back, it's about 120,000. Yeah, so like Chantal said, um, prices are not that cheap, but we're going pretty far. But the crazy thing is the flights were like half the price. Like I think it was around 60-ish thousand uh, round trip sold to Busan and back. But everywhere we looked, they were always recommending the train. I mean, there's a movie called Train to Busan, so hopefully we don't get eaten by zombies, but uh, I think it's the experience. When you are booking your uh, tickets for the train, it's called KTX, which is the, uh, the bullet train, you should definitely use the Corail website. It won't appear right at the top because um, there's another company out there that uh, ate up all the SEO. So every single web page, all the ads are gonna be pointed to this company called Rail Ninja. Unfortunately, that's the one we did book with. Now, I will say their website is really good. Like the user experience is excellent, but when we booked the, the tickets, the price was just so much higher because they charge all these different fees to make commission. Um, and then afterwards I realized when they, we printed the tickets that it shows the actual price of the ticket itself. So then I went back online, found Corail's website and realized we should have just book directly there. So I'll make sure to link that in the uh, description below in case you are booking a ticket on Corail for the KTX. Yeah, here we are sunny days, no worries, no craze. I've been watching you smile and I never want to see it go away. All right, as a former Bostonian, Chantal's gonna test out the munchkins here. They're moist. They're moist? They're like oh. sweaty. They're sweaty munchkins? They're like... Mm, they're not dry. They're not dry, but they're sweaty. Need for a map again. I've learned a lot from you since then. Curtains blowing in the breeze again. Can you feel it? Sunflowers. Growing fast Sunflowers Growing fast Can it last? Alright, we just landed in Busan uh, very smooth ride. I finished my vlog on it, which was awesome. And now we're heading to a bus. Hopefully no troubles on this one. And it should be about an hour to the uh, hotel from there. So Busan is incredibly hot. It's hotter than Seoul, which is hotter than Singapore. Summers are brutal here. Smile from her, feel all the colors, and I don't want no other. Smile on your face, it rises when I say, love to spend no day, just watching the world go by. Sunflowers growing fast. All 
We're in our hotel room. It's quite small. Mm. Eh, it's actually bigger than our soul. Last one. Yeah. yeah. It's just very bare mm -hmm. and uh, naked. We did get two twins, so we decided to just push them together. Uh, but we had it because we initially thought someone else was going to be joining us, but they aren't. Let's, let's, let's recap our, our journey to Pusan. Mm -hmm. So, we took the train. Train was nice. Yeah. Wi-Fi was great. Yeah, it was good. Saved a lot of data. Mm -hmm. It made a lot of stops, even yeah. though it was the, like... Express. Express, yeah. Fast. It was a very fast train. Mm -hmm. I wish it had... I, I don't know if it told you how fast it was, but... Oh, no. no complaints about that. We... No took off right on time at mm -hmm. 12 27 you better be there on the dot mm -hmm. yes when we got off it was the same process like mm -hmm. as soon as we got off the train shut down and we were like the last ones off and you were freaking out yeah. you were like rushing me and i'm like i can't get all the stuff and people were already getting on to mm -hmm. go back to seoul i guess so very efficient yeah and then how did we get to heunde which is where we're staying so you were able to find which exit we should take to, to grab a bus. <laughs> it was super hot outside, like the sun was just... Scorching. Yes. Um, so we found the bus stop and it was packed. There were so many people waiting around. We had just missed one of the buses that we could have taken, um, but it was okay. We were like, oh, another five minutes for the next one, but there's like no shade, lots of people waiting. Sweat dripping down. We had our suitcases, our backpacks. So we took the express bus. Um, and yeah, it was like about 12. I think it was like 12. No, it was closer to 1700 won, mm -hmm. I think. But it was mm -hmm. still less than 2000 won, which mm -hmm. is incredible. Yeah. So. We used our T-Money card, which I mm -hmm. wasn't sure about. I was like, is it going to work? But we had our suitcases with us. And there was not a lot of seats left. And we knew that it was going to be a long bus ride, so we were determined to get a seat. There was an older person uh, who kindly let me in without him having to get up. But I had my suitcase, I had to roll it in. It was very, very uncomfortable. And I had an older lady next to me. She scooted in mm. for me, which was really nice. The total ride is like an hour long. So it's Heunde is really far from mm -hmm. Busan station. Yeah, it was hot. Like there's not much AC on the mm -hmm, ride, mm -hmm. but at least we had our seats, I guess, because mm -hmm. there were a few people standing. And it's a rough ride. Yeah, it's like a lot of stop and go through traffic. Mm -hmm. It, The streets are like busy. Yeah. Like there's a lot of stuff mm -hmm. going on. It's just like Seoul. Uh, I feel like it was more. I feel like it was Maybe busier. it was even busier, yeah, that one street that just mm -hmm. we were just on for like off. 40 minutes or mm -hmm. something. So one of the things that I noticed was that a lot of the signs, first off, there's a lot of signs everywhere on all the buildings. Kind of reminds me of like a Times Square. Yeah. Um, but a lot of it, there's like no English, all in Korean. Yeah, it's less English than Seoul, I would mm -hmm. probably say. I imagine not as many folks here speak English, perhaps. Uh, but thankfully this time, it, we didn't have another Seoul incident. It, it took us exactly where we needed to be. Mm -hmm. As soon as we got off, the hotel was right across the street. Very easy. But I realize now there is a subway that takes you to Busan Station. It's actually 200 won cheaper. And the traffic, I think, is why the bus mm -hmm. took longer. Because I think if we took the train or the subway, it would have been a couple minutes faster. So when we have to head back to Seoul, we're definitely taking the subway. I just can't imagine riding that bus again. So <laughs> it was a fun experience, but I don't want to experience mm -hmm. that again. So we've just been hanging out in the hotel and tonight we're going to look for a dinner and kind of see what's around the neighborhood. Um, I know that there's a shopping mall that's one of the biggest department stores in the world. world. Yeah, the world's largest, I think. Yes, but I think they close at 8 or 8.30, which is very, very strange. Yeah. So I think maybe we'll just stick around here. Go maybe to, go tomorrow. Go to the beach um, and find food. Yeah, it's a nice neighborhood. Like there's... a looks like a really long walkway along mm -hmm. the beach and a couple major streets with like different things so we'll take you along for our dinner and uh, post dinner walk okay we are now on a busy busy street here it's like the main road yeah and it is uh breezy it's actually quite nice it's like actually cooler than in Seoul now although 
coming here it was like hot as it was heck. so hot there's a lot of restaurants and uh different places to check out later i hope things stay open at night but what are you craving right now we're, we're thinking of doing a burger yeah we're there's this burger place it has good reviews yeah i know it's not quite korean food but you know what when you're craving something you go for it maybe they have like kimchi inside or something yeah maybe we'll, we'll check it out So without even being near the ocean, it already has like a beachy vibe to this city. It's like the air. Yeah, there, it is the air actually. The you, air. Can, you can feel it in the air. A lot of burger and pizza joints too. Sunflowers growing fast. What'd you think of that meal? So it was really good. It had, like I said, good reviews. Um, and you know, it's a burger spot, so I wasn't expecting anything too amazing because we're in Korea, but it was actually pretty good. Yeah, it was um, very well done. 100% Korean beef. I guess Korean cows are delicious. The the fries were like perfectly yeah, crisp. So crispy. And they gave you um, tartar sauce, mm -hmm. which, guess you do with fish and chips but it was really good and the sauce inside the burgers was good everything was just really good, was really good. job well done and you had a nice little drink too yeah yeah they had a sour beer so it was really good nice and uh now we're just gonna go walk towards the water and if uh some souvenir shops are open later because i really really want a busan sticker here and hopefully there are no mosquitoes here yes which i think there might be yes Chilling on the beach. The weather is beautiful. Mm -hmm. The lights are scenic. It's got a real good vibe out here. And we're thinking that maybe two days isn't enough time to be here. Nope. I'm kind of already bummed because we're like, we have the whole day tomorrow. We're gonna wake up early. We're gonna go to the beach, seize the day, probably get a coffee before. And yeah, I, I wanna walk this whole section. Like, yes. I'm down to get some dessert, maybe even around here. Let's go check it out. Let's go. Sunflowers growing fast. Can it last? Oh, oh, oh. Feeling like a Sunday. Birds are singing through me. Oh, oh, oh. Feeling like the ocean. Giving me the notion. Chilling on the beach now, just about to eat some croffles. We also got green boba milk tea. It's pretty good. A little sweet. But wash it down with a croffle. Okay. Mmm, smells like cinnamon. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that looks like it's messy. That is chocolate. Is it? Oh, yeah, it is chocolate. Croffle with a view. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm. It's like pure sugar. Is it good? Mm. It's good. It Do smells you have like really the sugar crystals? Mm. Like a Belgian waffle style or no? A little bit. Mm. Alright, my turn. Cinnamon. Mm -hmm. So Chantal finished her croffle. But she's left with this massive bag of just chocolateness. I feel like we need to buy something else and stick it in there. But I was gonna say, it looks like a, a chocolate IV bag or something. Mm -hmm. All right, we're walking off the croffle and the boba, and it's still kind of early. It's almost 10 o'clock. Yeah, it's been a good day. Mm -hmm. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you tomorrow. See you on the next one. <laughs>